Hello and welcome to the Lonely Artist Podcast. I'm your host, Ariane, and today I have an incredible guest to share with you. Her name is Mimi. She's a 25-year-old artist who lives in France and who recently quit her job to realize her dream of becoming a full-time webtoon artist. She specializes in LGBTQ plus stories and illustrations. Her webcomic, Solar Eclipse, is a woman-love-woman fantasy and romantic story with a bit of comedy in it. I really hope that you enjoy our conversation today. I wanted to thank you for allowing me to interview you today and asking you about your comic. I'm oh, very thanks excited. to you. <laughs> I'm very excited to have you here. Your comic is beautiful. Oh, and, thank you. Yeah, and I'm sure a lot of people would love to read it. So I hope that a lot of people who are listening to this right now will go and read it after the interview. <laughs> Oh my god. But why don't you start by telling us a little bit about how your art journey began? Oh, um, basically, uh, I started drawing back in 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, I was drawing anime characters and it was so much fun to me because uh, it was a time where I didn't really like school. So it was a, a way of escaping reality. Mm -hmm. And I was also reading a lot of fantasy novel books, you know. That's that's when I start creating my own characters and word, and yeah. uh, <laughs> and in two thousand twelve and no, um, well, English is hard. <laughs> <laughs> in twenty twenty, when uh, the co the COVID came in our life, I I started writing about solar eclipse, but I was not sure if I should make make it a comic or or just a novel, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I was also a bit lazy about it, <laughs> but you know, it's my it's my daily routine, and I'm loving it. Well, and I wanted to ask you, like, how did you come up with the story behind Solar Eclipse? Um, to be honest, I don't really remember, but uh, maybe I was that's a time when I was watching the Legend of Korra, you know, mm -hmm. and I felt a bit inspired by it. Yeah, I, but I don't really remember how the oh I I create so like I know it's strange, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean maybe it just kind of came to you and that's why you don't really remember it. Just yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, <laughs> I've been meaning to watch the Legend of Korra. It seems really cool, so I'm now yeah, even I, more curious. <laughs> <laughs> that was a wide. I don't really remember the story to be honest, mm -hmm. but I know I loved it. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to definitely check it out next year. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, what is your favorite thing about, you know, being a comic book artist? Um, my favorite thing, uh, it's, it's basically being able to work for me, for my readers and making what I like a job, you know, mm -hmm. I love creating and sharing my stories with readers. I love reading Comet too. It's like my everyday guilty pleasure. Yeah. So it's so motivating for me. And I want to do this on my life. Yeah, I mean, you should. Your work is fantastic. And we would oh, all love to, to keep reading your comics. <laughs> and, thank you. You know, is there any part of the process in making your comics that you really love? Like a specific part of the process that you love? Um, I say maybe coloring. Mm -hmm. I, I really took my time to make the, the shading and the backgrounds too. I really like doing the backgrounds. I think oh my this God. is my, my <laughs> favorite part. I know a lot of people don't like it, but still, I like it. Yeah, you're unique in that because almost everybody who I've asked says that they don't really like uh, making backgrounds. But it's cool <laughs> to know that some people do. <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah. <laughs> And well, what is something that you don't like about making comics? Oh my god, the line art. Really? If I could skip <laughs> this, oh, I would love it. I I hate doing line art so much. Wow, you're. I, the, I, I think got... you're in the minority in this. It's like inverse. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god, it just it just took all of my time. I don't like it. Yeah. It's so tiring for me. Like I will I will do the line art for one hour and took a nap for six. You know. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> You need a lot of rest after that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Is there anything about making comics that you didn't realize was going to happen, but did? 
Um, I don't really know. Maybe uh, the routine of making comics. Mm, yeah. I I thought maybe I will I would be tired of it, or, but no, I just love it and it's not tiring. Do that's you why draw, I wanna, like that's every why day? I want to do this all my life. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it shows that you really love it, and yeah, I love it. I I was wondering if it's something that you do every single day. Like, do you draw every single day? Yeah, yeah, awesome. every day. It's strange because when I spend the day with my friends and I'm not drawing, I'm like, oh my god, I should draw right now. But I'm doing this every week, so I just <laughs> can take a, a break, you know. Yeah. But still, I love drawing, so it's hard it to like. Oh, hmm? sorry. Oh no, I just say it doesn't matter to me making making drawings all day. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, it kind of like becomes part of something that you you kind of have to do. Like brushing your teeth, you kind of like have to draw every single day. I feel that's the case for me at least. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and would you say when... you're? Oh, sorry. What were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, you know, when I'm not drawing, I feel a bit guilty. I don't know why, but that's, I'm like, oh my God, I should draw right now, work, but no. Yeah. I have the right to take a break, but my, my brain is like, no, I'm don't the same. take a break. Oh <laughs> I'm the God. same. It's so hard not to be drawing and you feel kind of yeah. like, like you're wasting your time if you're not drawing. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I feel that for sure. Would you say you're the type of creator who's like, really organized in the way that you create your comics like do you have a script or is your whole story already written down um no i'm really messy to be honest but i i'm making the the script in my head you know mm -hmm. and I just draw every part of the the episode and if i want to change something i would change it uh, later or but i i'm not writing everything on paper or on my computer it's really only on my head wow that's insane <laughs> i know i shouldn't do that some some people told me it's uh it's not really the good the good way of making comics but i was like no i don't <laughs> care i mean if it works for you so you do that like yeah. every single week you kind of like just do it from your head and create the episode uh yeah wow that's i mean that's incredible i wish i could do <laughs> no, that <thank> <laughs> And well, you say that you love reading comics as well, right? Yeah. So I was wondering, like, what is your favorite comic book book genre to read? Um, fantasy romance, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I also like drama and slice of life, but you know when it's a bit uh spicy. Yeah. So <laughs> I love that too. <laughs> <laughs> What are your, like your top three comics that you're reading at the moment? Um, uh, my favorite one, the first is On a Leash. I don't know if you you know. I'm not sure. It's a it's a girl comic by Aji. It sounds really familiar. Oh, On a Leash, yeah, it's a, it's really is my favorite. Um, after that, I don't really know. You know, I don't have a a one, two, or three favorite one yeah i'm kind of reading everything at the same time so yeah i mean I'm, I'm also reading a lot of them so i don't wouldn't know how to how to rate them or list them yeah exactly yeah. it's a bit hard <laughs> and your art style is really unique as well like i really like it um i was wondering oh, like who do you take inspiration from uh um i really like uh Hiromashima. It's the it's the author of Fairy Tale and Eden Zero, and I really like he, it's as, it's our style, and that's when when I was a a teenager, mm -hmm. <laughs> I started watching Fairy Tale and I was like oh my god the art style is so cool, so yeah. I start start creating or um, drawing characters of uh, Fairy Tale, mm -hmm. I was like oh I should try making one of my character like that. And I, I guess it's how I went, I go with my art style at the moment. Yeah. You'd say like that's your biggest influence, right? Yeah, that's right. Awesome. And, you know, because this is a place of support, uh, is there any 
like small creator or comic that you really like and you feel like deserves a you know a bigger following um yeah i uh, recently i started reading spellastra by zephilis i i don't know if you read it i saw on instagram maybe it was not you but um it's a uh, her story is about witches and monsters all in a fantasy roman style and it's really really well writing mm -hmm. and the art style is oh beautiful <laughs> you, you should you really should start reading it if you like fantasy and gay stuff you know <laughs> yeah i love fantasy and i hope that yeah. you know whoever is listening like also goes and check checks out all the comics that you just mentioned mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> uh, and, uh and i would like to to give a shout out to strawberry juice the mm. the author of trade of Roses. yes <laughs> her comic is so good and the art style is so cool too she yeah. she basically is my bestie so <laughs> she's the best <laughs> i love you take care <laughs> i hope that she's <laughs> listening to this she's so of energetic course. i remember when i <laughs> interviewed her like she went through the questions so fast i was like what oh are my you God. drinking like an express she's amazing <laughs> 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 yeah, she's a ball of energy, and her story yeah. is also very energetic, I'd say, and fun to read. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, like, what advice can you give to people who follow you who also want to become comic book artists themselves? Um, I'd say if you want to, to start a comic, just do it, you know. Mm -hmm. you, you'll find your way of making it. You, you don't have to do exactly like the others. Like, if you want to publish once a month, then do it. If you want to make a short comic, do it too. Mm -hmm. Just take your time and enjoy what you're making. It's not a rush, not a competition. So go for it, my friend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, just start your comic already. <laughs> yeah. And More comic to read. What? That's more comic to read. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, if, if you could go back in time and you had to start your comic again, like, is there anything you would do differently? Uh, yeah, maybe I will take my time because at the beginning I was a bit stressed. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm, maybe the I will make like 100 episodes. It would be very long. Mm -hmm. But nowadays I'm just like, OK, go for it. If I if I make five uh, five thousand episodes, it's OK, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just taking my time and may maybe um, drawing a bit better because uh, the beginning. Oh, my God. No, it looks so good. Like I started reading it not very long ago, maybe a couple months ago. And it looks really? great. Yeah, like I wouldn't <laughs> I don't know. And I also I'm the kind of person who like loves to see the the improvement over time? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I was uh, rereading my first episode. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> but I do feel like that, like, even with my uh, own work. I guess everyone feels like that. Yeah. That, so. Yeah, even though, like, we say, like, it's okay, you know, we like to see the improvement. Like, when it's your own work, it's always a little bit cringy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and what... Uh, what plans do you have for the future regarding your work, your comic? Like, is there anything that you are thinking about doing or that you would like to see happen in the future? Um, honestly, I would like to continue what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. If I could spend all my life doing comics, it would be amazing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to change things because I feel I feel happy in my life right now. So mm -hmm. I hope it will be the same in the future. Yes, I see that you are attending a few uh, cons, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How has that been? Like, is that fun to meet people who read your work and, and just kind of like interact? Yeah. Yes, of course. I was at the beginning, I was a big shock because people would just come in, come to me and say, Oh my God, I love your work too and I'm reading it. <laughs> and I was like, Oh my God, you know my work too. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Uh, it, meeting people who read your books and they just say nice things to you you know mm -hmm. it's so motivating and oh my god my heart thank you guys <laughs> i'm sure it's lovely and it's just so nice to like actually yeah. meet the fans that read your work yeah it's amazing i feel like a celebrity <laughs> yeah. i should not but 
hopefully so cool. you know you'll you'll grow enough that you might come to america and i can go to a con and like meet you in person that would be so cool oh my god i would love to <laughs> i should sure. try one day <laughs> i'm sure that'll happen in the future yeah for sure yeah why not i'm sure <laughs> and finally my favorite question if you mm -hmm. could have any magical art power to help you in your artistic process what would you like that to be oh my god having the the superpower to automatically doing the line art after finishing <laughs> my sketch you know <laughs> so i don't have to to make it yes. <laughs> i hate it so much oh my god or maybe also being able to create a background by describing it mm -hmm. and my ipad will automatically drawing you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> that would be amazing too so you draw your entire comic on your ipad yeah on on which program do you use procreate or clip studio yeah i'm using procreate and clip studio oh, like nice. i do on both cool well that's yeah. a good extra question that i wasn't thinking about but now that i that you said that i was like oh that's interesting you, you draw everything on the ipad yeah cool well guys that was it for today's episode thank you so much for listening to us talk about her comic and i hope to see you back on the next one